Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Destructnator here, and today we have the first episode of a new series. Uh, I did say I'd do this a while back in my first ever, like, schedule commentary, but I finally decided to do it. So what it's going to be is how to play every map. Uh, so yeah, I figured we start off with Strike Zone. If you guys are, if you guys do enjoy the series, please be sure to leave feedback and things I can do to make it better and stuff. Maybe I include some like clips from real games and stuff like that. But either way, right now I'm in private match. I'm just gonna show you guys basically how I play each of the maps. And I figured, why not start on Strike Zone, which is one a lot of people like. But uh, you guys might not know some good spots, and I'll show you some. So either way, you saw I spawned right there. So what I usually like to do is there's this spawn rush where you can come up here. You can also go through the pro shop. I find that to not work as well. I used to do that, but now I come up here and just pick people off from the catwalk. They're often kind of up there, so you just want to take them out, you know, hide back in the catwalk, and then they can usually they'll spawn ba either back in the pro shop or even right there sometimes. So you guys want to make sure that you don't stay in the catwalk too long because if your enemies have any idea at all of what's going on, they'll realize you're here pretty quick and pretty much over overtake you real fast. So. But if they do have the C flag uh, for the game and you guys have A and B, I do recommend staying in the catwalk. You kind of want to peek it every now and then. You also want to make sure that uh, your pro shop is covered. This is pro shop, by the way. So you can always come back here and, you know, make sure they're not uh, coming from here. So you just kind of want to stay around this area. You know, peek catwalk every now and then. Depending on how bad your enemies are, uh, you can do it as much as you want. But I recommend just staying in catwalk, going back to pro shop every now and then, coming up here every now and then. And you do have to be careful if they do flank around, so make sure you're aware with your headset and such. Now let's move right along to the A flag. Let's say your team took C and now they have B and C. So A, there's a couple things you can do. If you don't really want to rush and you kind of want to sit back, right here is definitely a great spot because they can come from over here as well as over here and from down there if they run around the back. So I recommend staying here. It's a nice spot to just kind of, you know, you can pick some off here, pick some off here and like kind of wait for them, sound for them and then pick them off right there. Uh, but usually uh, if I'm playing in a party and we actually are spawn trapping and that kind of thing What I'll do is I'll go all the way around to here and this does work uh, You know if you're playing solo if your teammates are pretty far back and you feel like pushing up so they will spawn right here uh, Out here a little bit and then they will also spawn in this corner sometimes and that corner Those are the four main spawns you have to worry about here is not so much uh, Especially if you have B and you have some teammates in there, but you still got to worry about it So I just like to run up back here up and down like this and you know pick them off and that kind of thing and then if they're not spawning there maybe in every now and then I'll come here or I'll actually also come behind here and kind of wait for them and take up pick up a few kills either way you just kind of want to stay in this area and make sure you're not staying in the same place for too long because that is what will get you killed uh, is just staying example like for example if I just stayed right here just ADSing this I could probably get a lot of kills but eventually you know there'd be some enemy that sneaks around here and just knifes me in the back or I'll get outgunned or grenaded or something because no, you know, eventually they're gonna figure it out. You can't just stay in one spot the entire time you're playing. So you're gonna have to move. You know, I you know, here's a nice spot to go for a little bit while you're going around to here. Uh, and also make sure you're clear to move. Oftentimes I find myself I r try to move too fast and I get just shot in the back or something like that. But uh, either way, let's move right along to the B flag. If you're in a full party, I don't really recommend spawn trapping at B flag unless it's the blown up version of the map. Uh, it ba basically the same stuff applies as well for the blown up version. It's just different. They're, they're, you go in the same places and that kind of thing, but the spawns are a lot worse, so you gotta be way more careful. So for B, you can also kind of stay right here because they will come from over here as well as kitchen. This is a major place to be worried about. Um, but usually in B, I do not recommend uh, going in there unless you want to flip them out, which usually do. But you can head glitch behind hot dog stand a little bit. This gives you a nice aim on both kitchen and uh, over there. Uh, as well as you can kind of come over here top C pick them off as they come in and then once you've picked up a few I like to rush in and they can spawn back there uh, in here over here in this corner And then there's also a spawn kind of right in front of the bar like in this area So I like to push in from around back one once I know I'm clear You know come in here Maybe pick off one that got an unlucky Security spawn me. and then when you're on B you kind of just want to sit and wait uh, prone Make sure you're using your headset because they can come around you a lot. And uh, you, you guys should know that you can cap it from kind of around the corner. So you never really want to just be standing on a flag. You always want to give yourself as much cover as possible. So either way, that's how you play Strike Zone. That's how I play Strike Zone. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like. And uh, give me some feedback. Let me know what I could do to make it better. Uh, I really, I really kind of want to do this series, but if you guys don't want it, then, you know, tell me because I'll put more effort into other series, but I am willing to put a lot of effort into this if you guys enjoy it because I think it's a really good thing to do. Also, one more, one last thing at A-Flag, you can sit kind of right here, they'll, they'll spawn in this corner a lot. 
Uh, oh yeah, let me let me just do that real quick. I know I kind of did my outro, but if you do spawn at the sea flag, I just never spawn here. It's it's really stupid. But if you spawn at the sea flag right here, I always like to just rush into A. Be careful. Sometimes they come pro shop. You just pick one or two off. Uh, you might want to check here if they're kind of camping or just AFK or something. They may run up there, but that's th all those things are kind of uncommon. And then you can just come here and they will all spawn right in that corner. Uh, and you can just get like, pretty much a multi-kill. So, anyway, like I said, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave some feedback. Let me know what I can do better. Use some real game clips or, like, maybe put up a picture of the map or something. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Destructinator, and I'm out. Peace.